Thanks to an awesome community member on the Steam Deck Discord, we have managed to get Overwatch 2 running on Steam OS without bottles. That's right, no bottles, no cafe, just pure battle.net running on Steam OS. Okay, there's a little bit of fiddling with a custom Proton version, but don't worry, we've got all that covered. And if you've installed battle.net directly on Steam, this will be extremely quick and easy for you. There is a couple of caveats. You are going to have to have a bit of extra waiting as shaders have to be compiled pretty much every time. So you will be sat around waiting while your screen looks a bit like this until it looks a lot more like this. Yes, that is 60 FPS, a lot more solid. And this is best achieved with low graphic settings, which is actually the gameplay that you saw there at the beginning. You can see down in the bottom left, while it's doing the, its bits and pieces with this method, you'll see compiling shaders flashing. But obviously, if you've got the performance overlay up, it will be very obvious once those shaders have finished as well. It generally takes around 10 to 15 minutes to compile those shaders. So do start this up a little bit before you actually want to start playing and either just jump around in the training mode while that's compiling or just sit around on the main screen and just move your controllers occasionally to stop it going to sleep. OK, so what do you need to do to get this running? First of all, you need to download the files that I've put in the description below. You want this custom version of Proton TKG. This is a TKG version compiled with Proton from our Discord member with a couple of tweaks to one of the config files. So once you've downloaded this, you want to right click it and say extract archive to to your home folder. And if you're not seeing the dot files here, then you want to go to the little arrow up the top here, go to options and make sure show hidden files is ticked. Then you want to go down to dot steam and then steam link. Then you want to scroll back up to compatibility tools dot D. So extract that archive to this folder. This will take a couple of minutes as there's quite a lot of files here. I already had the files extracted, so I'm just going to skip over this as I get a warning. Once that's finished, if you had Steam open, make sure you exit out of it and restart Steam. Then look at the second file, which is just a text file of the command line arguments to make it easy for you to copy or you can just open up these and write them manually. So this is the dxvk underscore HUD compiler. That just gives the status of those compiling shaders so that you know when it's actually happening. And then we have this exec equals proton at the end, which is making TKG run in proton mode. So in Steam, go to your battle.net launcher, right click and go to properties. Paste those options into the launch option section of shortcut and go into the compatibility section and force the use of a specific Steam compatibility tool and select the TKG Proton archive that you just extracted. Now you can go and play. This may cause a little issue occasionally on first launch, which happens with Battle.net anyway. Just if it doesn't launch, just exit out and launch it again. It generally takes one or two attempts unless you're lucky and it runs first time. The other thing to note is it doesn't always save the in-game settings, so you may have to change those settings each time. There is a fix where you can come into the battle.net game settings like this and set reset in-game settings. This should create the settings file so that it does remember, but I've had mixed results with this. You can switch back to the experimental proton to change some settings and then come back to the TKG version. But if you do reset it and it goes to the medium settings, it is a bit more of a janky experience. So I do recommend keeping it on those low settings and then you generally have a good time playing. I'll leave you with a bit more of the gameplay here without me talking so you can get a better feel for the game and performance in Steam OS mode. And hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy Overwatch 2 without having to fiddle around with bottles and cafe or running on Windows. Let us know in the comments below how you get on and if you get stuck you can always hop on our Discord. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video.